I am Lady Asuka and today, as you can see, I finally got my model upgrade. But not only that, let me show you right away what we will talk about today. Clothing toggles! Yep, finally you can do outfit swaps with a button press or take pieces off and put them on again. Let me show you how to set it up. We start in Vroid Studio and you have to keep in mind that you should already plan these toggles beforehand because adding in new outfits after is sadly not an option yet. The biggest reason why this is possible now in stable version and wasn't possible in beta is actually the clothing layering feature. And I will be upfront with three limitations of this feature. Never think you can layer the inner bottom top section because these sections will be later merged to the skin layer. So if your base outfit is there, that is okay. You just have to layer over that with other sections and won't be able to take that part off. It will make more sense later. And the second one is that if you use skin masks for one of the outfits and another outfit shows the skin in this area, no skin would show up and it would look weird. So the best thing you can do is not to use the skin mask at all. The third limitation is that each category is only able to hold five layers, including your base layer. Which means to get the most out of it, you should be able to layer five layers on tops and five layers on bottoms, since other categories are not combinable with each other. Let's start with something like a swimsuit outfit and layer over it. We start with the inner top, layer a trouser, a top, a jacket and let's say two different dresses over it. Let's add some shoes as well and export the model. Remember, the model has to be completely ready out of Vroid, because you won't be able to go back in after and fix things. As usual, we will disable the Delete Transparent Meshes option and the Combine Hair Meshes, so you can safely add HANA to later. Don't mind that the avatar looks weird at the moment, we will fix all that in Unity. We start a new 3D project in Unity. As always, I recommend the version 2019.4.31 f1. And once everything loaded up, we start importing our plugins. For this specific project, we would only need the UniVRM plugin. The version I used here is 0.92, but this should actually also work with newer versions. We go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and select the version of the plugin we want to use. Confirm after the pop-up with import and on the second pop-up with accept all and we are ready to get our .vrm model in. You will just drag and drop it into the bottom assets. I actually like to create a folder first and drag the model into this folder so I can reuse the projects later for other models or versions of them. Once import is complete, open the folder and drag your model into the hierarchy to the left. Also check in the inspector to the right if the position and rotation parameters are correct. Both have to be all zero besides the scale, which should be set to one. Our main focus point today will be the materials. If you check the materials folder, you will find all the separate materials for all the clothes that we layered over each other. Beside the bathing suit, which is now part of the skin layer, as you may see here. The first step now is to decide the standard outfit, which means the outfit you will load in by default. That should be the only one visible at the moment which means we go to all the other materials of the other outfit pieces and reduce in the inspector, under color, the transparency. Just click into the little color box on the right and move the bottom slider to zero. Another important part is that the material has to be set to cut out for this to work or to transparent. You can experiment with both to see which option works better for you. Once that is done, we are ready to make our toggles. We switch to blend shapes and create a new blend shape clip. Our first toggle will toggle our current outfit off and show the bathing suit under it. So we will go to the material list here at the bottom while our new toggle bathing suit is selected and we'll check the plus sign to add a new material. Something I learned recently is that materials will only show up here if they are placed somewhere on the model already. Once you found the material for your current outfit, which should be a top, or combination of a top and a bottom piece, 
you will select this and another little line under it will appear where you select the underscore color option. With this option, we can turn our current outfit invisible by putting the transparency slider to zero. To see all of this happening, I suggest you use the three little dots on the bottom right and choose convert to floating window to get a bigger preview window. And if everything was done correctly, it will reveal now the bathing suit underneath. Another thing you should know is that you don't have to make a second toggle to turn the standard outfit back on. Once that toggle will be hit a second time, the model will go back to its old state, which means your outfit from before will be back again. Now let's say we want to switch to another outfit. You can decide here if you want to make an outfit appear as a one piece or if you want to toggle parts of it separately, like only the top off or only the bottom for example. For the swimsuit we would still be stuck with our shoes, so let's get rid of them as well. You add another material to the material list, this time the one for the shoes, and turn it invisible too. Now whenever you trigger this blend shape, you will appear in your swimsuit outfit. Let's add now a jacket to this outfit. I will create another blend shape clip, call it jacket, and add the jacket material to the material list as well as the underscore color. But this time I will turn the transparency option up. And voila, the jacket can now be triggered on and off. Last but not least, let's toggle a dress. We create a new blend shape clip, add the material of our standard outfit in and reduce its transparency under color. Then we add the new dress material in and up the transparency and voila, a complete outfit swap. Now that you know the basics, let's talk how to use this with VC face. We export our model over the VRM0 menu. Don't forget to select your model on the left first, or you have to find it from a list which is a lot harder. Remember to put a name and version, save it somewhere where you can find it again easily, and let's move over to VC phase. In VC phase, there is one thing you should consider before going crazy with playing with your toggles, and that is if a toggle should be set to base or to additive. Most complete outfit switches should be set to base, but if you just want to switch one part out, try additive instead, so you can use certain things together with other toggles. That rule should also go for any face toggles, just as a quick reminder. And with that, you're ready to go, to show off all the cool outfit swaps your model has to offer. Have fun experimenting, I see you guys next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.